old video I just sent you. Yeah, it's quite funny, isn't it? Uh, I just could not get my head around Dark Souls one little bit. Yeah, uh, again, it, yeah, that video says it's hard. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, I, I just can't, just, I was getting frustrated, that's the thing. And so yeah. it, it was just do, doing my head in. So I thought I'd come back to uh, Elite Dangerous for a little bit. Uh, Are you you're streaming that? Oh, yeah, I'm streaming at the moment. Ah, you're streaming, right, okay. Turn the volume down, so, okay. Yeah, because I, I slightly... I'll show you something in a minute, because I slightly cheated. You, um... Hello, hi. So, yeah. So, I'm back at Wolf 359. Yeah, it's a long way from where you were yesterday. Have you have you managed to get up to, um... Yeah, uh, I've got the permit. Cool. So, this is on Wolf 359, so I could probably go back to... I could probably go to Sol now. Yeah. It's so, only one jump from from well, there. Uh, so, well, I was going to go... Sure, no, um, have, have you picked up your other stuff yet? What other stuff? Um, all, all the stuff, the um, mining stuff that you dumped off when you re... No, I didn't. I was just coming back here for a quick view. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so at the moment I'm going to I'm at Powell High. But I don't want to be there, so I want to Permit now. Sorry? You completed that mission. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got the I've got the permit. Uh, I can go to Sol. I'm just deciding where to go to, and I think I wanted to go to the Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Um. I I I would go to um, Galileo, which is the one orbiting the moon. All right. Um. um that's that's where I store my ships in Sol. Um. It's, it's good for missions. It's slightly quicker to dock at than than any of the ones around Earth, because you don't get stuck in the Earth's gravity well. Alright, okay, so... Um, let me just... Yeah, I moved my carrier over the weekend into that system where we did mining last week. Alright, okay. That, that's where I am at the moment. I created a mining map yesterday and I'm just testing that out, see how much I can get. So I've got a controller I was trying to do that thing with. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Um, yeah, it might be worth mapping that if so, you haven't done so already. No, I definitely, I have, uh, I definitely haven't. But I'm just going to wait till I've undocked and then I'll, I'll probably still yeah. use the mouse. I think you. I think after a while you'll find the controller, particularly in combat, the controller is much better. And I've got I've got two hundred and two hundred and twenty-five tons of gold um, of platinum so far. Right, so I've uh, got so I, I created a platinum mining route. So mount so maybe I have to. I, I think there are there are defaults for the controller. So I think if you go to the top. Well, it's control pad with your I think. So let me just. Uh... So is that, that must be up and down. It's like up and down. Oh God. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. I, can't uh, I would go for control pad without your actually. And... Uh, 
to be to be honest um But yeah, I can't be bothered. I'm not in the mood to. Uh... Okay. So it's not even got mouse. Keyboard and mouse. Right, that's that's it. So where am I? Where am I going? Sol. I found a mining run where every single asteroid is sort of 45% plus for platinum. Oh, that's good. So that's behind me then. So is that Galileo? Yeah. Okay, if you want to take a screenshot of Earth, then that's the place to do it from. Yeah, don't just don't dock. Oh shit, I'm not even concentrating. Just gonna go f straight by it. Doesn't matter, I do that all the time. Particularly when I'm, I'm watching a video. If, when I'm out exploring, I, I just watch YouTube videos while I'm doing it. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just about to get to Galileo. You know what you're going to do when you get there? Oh, I ain't got a clue. I just want to take a screenshot and say I've been here. I've got to do the Fandango. Uh, <laughs> Thunderbolt of lightning. Right. Too frightening. So, that's... Right, so there's... The moon. There's the moon, so let me just take a screenshot of that. Uh, still not quite sure why you can't land on the moon. Just desktop. The moon. Hopefully they'll release the moon and make that available when they bring out Odyssey. Yeah. So... All right, so that's orbiting. Where's the Earth then? Um, select it. If, um, yeah, I know, I know. Click one and select the Earth. Yeah. I, I know, I know. Uh, Earth.
want to go back into Super Cruise if you want to get a little bit closer to it. Yeah, for some reason K's not working. That's because you've, you've changed your keyboard settings. You press Try J, J will do it. You might have to rebind all the ones you've, you've actually set. Oh, for God's sake. That's annoying. I wish you could actually save your save your control settings. Cause, um, and if, when I switch between joysticks, it takes me two hours to set them all up again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Sith. Um, 61 followers. I think I was hit by a bot. Yeah, I was hit by a bot, so... Um, they're going to be no use whatsoever. And hello. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I just I, d I don't think they're of any use to me whatsoever. So I'm gonna just go round the other side because obviously I'm uh, dark side of the moon. To be honest, Sith, yes. Um, I've already hit the average. I hit the average on my second stream. It's that what I'm after at the moment is the streaming on different days. Yeah, so oh, you can see the, see the lights on the night side. Yeah, that's really that, cool. That is. Is that South South America? Yeah. So I've just been literally playing around with um, my stream at the moment, just figuring it, figuring out. Um, I've got the Stream Deck app on my phone. Wow. So I could do stuff like that. I've got a nice way of hiding all my webcam. So when I want to do um, screenshots and stuff, I can do. Yeah, yeah, I'm, it's the Stream Deck app. So I can uh, hide my camera for when I want to do play big animations without seeing me. So I can put that back up. Um, I can play <laughs> Yeah, I've got I've got little things that um Ooh, that's a good one. Little things like that. I've got some nice transitions for The game. So it's you know it's all all stuff like that. Um, from my phone, I can also stop and start the stream. I can send a tweet. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Yeah, that was my followers yesterday. Another one. And another one. I could do it. I could do all stuff like that, which uh, which which is nice. Well, let that. You know what, Greg? I'm just gonna go. Uh, where's is there no Mercury? Um, yeah, Mercury's there. Yeah, it's not on the. Uh... Oh, there it is. It'll be. Oh, that's that's Gorbachev. Have a few on there, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to... Uh... Frameshift drive charging. 
But it's a nice Sith, it's a nice little feature that you have on your It's basically the mobile phone version of the Stream Deck app. Costs about two quid a month. Costs about two pounds a month, you just have it on your phone and I've got my phone next to me. So I, you don't hear, because I haven't got the space yet for a stream deck and I can't afford it. Um, and I don't like when I press the keyboard to change scenes. When I can just, um, I mean you didn't hear that when I pressed it on my phone. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean it, it, it seems to work. Yeah, a lot easier and a lot quieter, which is um, exactly what I want. Um, and I'm just, there's a lot more you can do. Because I've got, I'm playing around with plugins at the moment. Playing around with OBS plugins. So hopefully I'll be able to get some more fancy stuff in there. Yeah, I use the um, OBS virtual webcam plugin which allows you to use OBS with pretty much any application. Yes, I've seen the, the, I've seen that. Stream. I've got the virtual camera. I've just never never actually used it. You know, I, I need to eventually get a whole uh whole screen for oh you know what I've slowed down I've really slowed down and I'm just going to go straight by it again I'd go to Galileo and recall your other ships so all your ships are there and then set that up set that as your um, sort of home base uh, yeah let me just uh, right so what did we do for controls um, it was K for super cruise just bear, bear with me a sec okay, that's probably under missile flight miscellaneous Hyperspace jump. Uh, was it J, J for jump? Yeah, the one below J, super cruise. Oh, you set that to K. S super cruise? We haven't got a super cruise generator. You mean hyperspace jump? No, uh. jump is to jump to another system. But that not that what frame drive is? Uh, yeah. Okay, Sith. Yeah, don't, don't worry, mate. I'm not going to be streaming that long, to be honest. Um, um, I did a bit a of a... I, I, let me check, I set it myself as well. Yeah, so I, I had a bit of a crappy stream earlier and I'm, I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> uh, options, controls... It is flight miscellaneous, isn't it? Uh, flight miscellaneous... Yeah, it's super cruise. It's K. Yeah, you know, you know, I'm going to set super cruise to K. Alright, okay. Super cruise for K. I'm not quite sure what the difference between the super cruising. Um, what else was it? I can't remember. Uh, um, you did your did night vision. Night vision. That'd be just under miscellaneous, I should think. Uh, so ship lights was insert. Night vision. Night vision. Night vision was what backslash or was it tip? Just backslash, I think, wasn't it? Oh, Whatever's on the question mark key. Whatever's on the question mark. Oh, forward slash. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'll do for now. Uh, so where so we're going? Some driving controls we set. Yeah, well I'll, I'll, I'll do that wait, later. Wait till we land on the planet to do that. So where am I going, Galileo? Uh, yeah. So, uh, again, I've got Galileo as my 
base that is away from um, Homeworld. So again, Homeworld's the best place to have a base because you can build all your ships there and they, they've got all the, um, every single um, upgrade you can get for your ship um, in outfitted at Homeworld. But until you get elite, then um, Galileo is a good place to set to your home system. Or yeah. Home station. Yeah, I'll I'll head there. Speed up a bit, I think. Speeding up a bit, I think. I'm flying around in my Type 9 at the moment, which is one of the slowest ships. And I'm having to do a lot of it with my cargo bay open, which makes it even slower. Well, you don't want that, do you? So where's Galileo then? Is that round Earth? Oh no, no, we're flying past um, Earth. It's, it's around the moon. Yeah, I was going to say we're flying past... Uh... No, again, I, I use Galileo. I mean, it tends to have better missions. It's also because it's slightly further away from the Earth. You don't get stuck in the gravity well when you're um, trying to dock there, so it, it's quicker to dock at. And again, I I run loads of or I used to run loads of missions from there. Do you and, um, always keep your sole permit now then? Yeah, once you've got a permit, you've got it forever. Right. That's why I was going around getting permits myself that I don't really need. Cool. Oh, thank you very much. Atana. Oh, thank you very much. Atana. Oh. Yeah, I really appreciate that. That's um, that's a lovely thing to do. Thank you so much. I hope you are well, by the way. Yeah, I really appreciate that. That's that means a lot. Thank you very much. It is hard. I had uh, a bit of a crappy stream earlier. 
but hey, it happens. Right, what we're doing here then, Greg? Um, yeah, so go to uh, uh, shipyard. Just give me a sec. You know, cause katana. They will always happen. Never go. I won't. But uh, wow! Little message for katana there for coming along and viewing the stream. Right, go to what? Sorry, Greg. Um, go to the shipyard. We'll see how much it costs to bring your other ship here. So if you go to um, ship transfer at the top. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's going to cost you four, 14,000. Yeah. So, um, yeah, just click on that and then your, your other ship will be transferred to this station. So transfer options, transfer ship to this location. Yeah. Uh, you could do the same with all your um... shipyard bits. Yeah, or you could go and fetch them because it's, it's only one jump to go and fetch them. So that's up to you whether you do those. Well, it it, it won't. So <laughs> yeah, so it um... that that was to buy another ship. You haven't got much money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that's happening there. So what shipyard? Oh, if, if yes. Yeah, so um, again, do you do you want to pay to go and get them, or do you want to? Uh, uh, have them pay 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 for them to come over. Pay for them to come over. Easier. Right. So in that case, you need need to go to outfitting. Um, outfitting. Yeah. And then go to stored modules. Give me a minute. Again, this will take a while for them to arrive. Just, Katana, if you're still here, baby. I've just dropped you a follow so I can go and check out some of your stream content later on. Wicked. Right, so, sorry, Greg, what was that? Stud modules. Yeah. Uh, again, I don't. you won't have any here, but again, it's telling you there how much it's going to cost and how long it's going to take to have them so just shipped st over to you. Store multiple. Um, no, you, you the, the, the modules above are the modules you have stored at another station. Yeah, how do so I get them your, here? Your, if you click on them... And you'll have to pay, you know, oh, it's only hundred credits to, to come over. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, so do, do that to all of them, just bring them all here. That way, when you're, now, when you're changing your um, fitting on the ship, if you come here to do it, you, you may be able to just have all the modules be waiting for you. Okay, get that. So, this, so let me just... Uh, galaxy. So if I just bookmark this, where are we? Well, yep. I, for, I forgot where we are. Um, a, uh, are we on the Abraham Lincoln? Uh, no, get, get, go into the system map because at the moment you you just you'll you'll bookmark the um, system. So yeah, if you go to your system map, uh, which um, oh that's it's where, where the blue. So we're on Galileo. Yeah. 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 Bookmark Galileo, edit, and then just put Galileo stored items. Okay. Nice one. Right, so see what missions there are here, I suppose. Yeah, you could do some missions. I've got six mil, so I might as well do. Oh, that's that's more than you had um, last week. So have you? Yeah, yes, I did a load of missions to get up to. 
Yeah, I did a load of missions. So, I could do internal report delivery. Or that one to get my reputation up. How far is it? I, I could do that. I'm just going to do one at a time, I think. Incoming message. Okay. Right, I'll go and uh, see, see where... I'll just do this one. Uh, plot a route. Right, before I do that, I've just got to go and put Rosie to bed, Greg, so I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Okay. I can't hear you at the moment. Still can't hear anything. Can you hear me? Can you hear me?
can't hear you um, through the stream either. Hello? Can you hear me now, Craig? Hi, Craig. Right, the mic should be working. If anybody's... Uh... Right, um, where am I going? Let's go up there. Greg, the mic should be working now. All clear. Take care, Commander. Should be working oh, now, mate. You for the stream, but not through Discord. Can you hear me through Discord now? Yeah. I don't know. It's going playing silly buggers, I think. Oh, uh, Jay. Totally confused what's going on. Right, I'm going to LHS 380. I was thinking um, it might be good if, after you've done this, I'll, I'll show you how you can pick up some of the high-grade um, uh, uh, materials to, um, so you can engineer your uh, frame shift drive a little bit more. All right. Okay. Yeah. You'll need your. Um, your limpet collector and a, and a few limpets. So when you go back to Galileo, put your limpet collector in and um, buy a couple of limpets. Yeah, all right, okay. Mastrachio Enterprise, that's where I seem to be going. Bit of a, a long trip, this one. Yeah. Doesn't it matter? Can you see me on stream, Greg? Yep. Just bottom right hand corner, just below the stream, it says a number, how many is watching? Three. It says three, does it? Lovely. Thank you very much. Yeah, 
getting there. 12 seconds. Now I'm going a bit faster. Yeah. I've changed it. I've changed it to like. To for that one. Yeah, I've changed. I've changed it to like the 10 second rule, because I know uh, <laughs> my, my reactions are a bit easier on 10 seconds. Yeah. It used to be a lot harder than that because you, you used to have to sort of guess, um, go by percentage. So when, when the time was down to 10% of the the distance, that was when it was time to slow down. Yeah. But yeah, they, they made it a little bit easier to work out. Cool. You know one of those uh, Twitch streamers you told me about the other day? I can't remember which one, the, the Elite ones. I went on and viewed him the other day and he was playing original Elite on the BBC. Oh my god, it looked blocky. Yeah, the guy that plays in a flight simulator. Oh, um, he, he's great, he is. He, he, I watched him and he just literally converted his garage into... Well, his office, basically. Yeah. Um, I, again, he's got um, a new flight simulator. Um, I was watching those yesterday because I'm not I'm not seen those before. What is there a flight sim game or literally the 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 motion the, ca the cage thing that he bought he built motion simulator. Oh, so, I've not, I've not yeah. seen that. Um, yeah, it was Blastard um, or Commander Blastard if you're looking for him on YouTube. But yeah, he he's um, he built a new. A motion simulator last year and he's um oh it might not be him then got six degrees of freedom on it now uh the guy no the guy i watched he he does uh truck simulator train simulator all right and he's got uh uh he does a lot of motor racing as well and he's got a uh a thing that he has to climb into and he can just change the pedals and the uh, steering wheel right. and all that kind of stuff it's brilliant some of the things people are doing lately are, are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, this is a long one, isn't it? Yeah, you have to keep an eye on those distances when you're taking the jobs. Well, I, I oh. didn't... I keep forgetting that, like, 58,000 light seconds is a long way. Yeah, uh, again, anything above 10, then I'd, I'd think about it. Unless, unless you're getting a lot of money. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of money. But at least this point, I can uh, just uh, sit back and relax a little bit. And go and go and send an email and uh, watch a YouTube video at this rate. <laughs> yeah, I did have a list of um, how long it takes to get to each of the space stations. You're going to get missions to from Earth. So All right, they made okay. it a lot easier to work out how long it's going to take.
Oh, this is a long one. Mellis, you're an idiot. This is not going to get me a lot of money, but... Uh... Sorry, I missed that, did you? Is that no. something to me? No, I'm just saying that this is uh, not going to get me a lot of money, but it's just a case of... Uh, going out there and getting something, and then going back to Galileo and getting limpets and whatever else you said. Yeah. Slowing down. Well, I'm now on asteroid 30 out of 40, so I'm doing, getting pretty close to the end. Doing what? I'm, I'm mining, so I created uh, a mining route. With, there's 40 asteroids. Oh, right, okay. All of which are um, have platinum at over 45 percent, and I've just got to the point where I filled up my cargo bay. So I'm gonna have to dump some of the limpets. I've got, yeah, I brought far too many limpets with me. I didn't, don't need anywhere near that many. Interdiction, Jesus. I'm only like two minutes from the bloody. Uh... Um, yeah, that's how it works. On a long run, they can't catch up with you while you're going fast. You're shooting so it'll at me. Always be just before they're shooting at you. It just boosts and as soon as your frame shift drives cool down. Get out of there. Yeah, I'm almost there anyway. Yeah, I'm docking. So they can check this in back to Galileo and then I can do whatever you wanted me to do before. See if there's any donation missions that will... Uh... Yeah, I get, again, you don't need to build up your reputation with the Federation anymore unless you're going for one of the um, Federation ships. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I would only take, put, give them donation missions if you're trying to build up reputation with them. Okay, yeah, I Or do you're that. getting into the politics and you're trying to um, 
Um, oh, let's influence take, of politics. I'll take the money then. B is in the chat. <laughs> Why is it not working? <laughs> B, could you hear that? Could you hear the laugh? Because I, I could not hear the laugh. B, could you actually hear the audio? Did you hear it? Because I couldn't hear it. I saw it and heard it. Right, okay, so at least the audio's working. It just isn't playing through... Isn't playing through my mic. So I'm, I'm actually using my Stream Deck app on my phone. Uh, right, where are we going back to? Galileo now then, are we? Uh, Sith Lord, welcome back. Bees in the house. Let's go back. I'm getting all these people come in. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. And another one. Lots of people coming into the chat. You're all amazing. know what Sith it's uh, small things amuse small minds Do you know what, Sith? I would if I had a big brain. If you'd have seen me playing Dark Souls 3 earlier on, then you would have known I had no big brain. I just could not get my head round such a simple, stupid game. Just couldn't do it. Sith, I deleted it. I was getting frustrated. I streamed for about 37 minutes. And 30 of them, I was just getting frustrated at the controls. And dying at the first boss. The first boss. Two swings and I was dead. And I'd had enough. So I came on here and uh, played something that the, gra the graphics look absolutely phenomenal and I suspect when I get, get used to it, you know, it'd be a nice game to play. I was just getting, I was just getting frustrated 
with it and I put on Twitter that I was getting frustrated and I, I've had enough I'm giving up and then I had a chap come in Katana come into the stream he put me straight don't give up don't give up so I played Elite which it's confusing at times, but it's one of those take your brain out games. Greg, it's a lot quicker coming back. Yeah, it's only 500 light seconds from the star. So it's always the distance from the star that, that slows you down. That's a new one. <laughs> yeah, I know, Sith, that makes me laugh. She's probably in hysterics on the floor by now. Oh, you're not going to make me play that, are you? Right, what am I doing here, Greg? I'm going to get some limpets and um, stuff. Yeah, so um, go to outfitting and put your um, collector. Let me just get down um, there. Collector controller back in. So it's um, optional internals. Yeah, it just takes me a few seconds to get there. Bear with me. Optional internals, and what am I doing? Um, I think you probably want to change your free um, free e cargo rack. See if you can transfer that and get your um, your free e collector. I can't remember if you, what size collector Olympics you had. I don't. I mean, um, uh, see if you can transfer it and swap swap your your collector Olympic controller in there oh, what so I'm click on transfer hang on a minute so 3e transfer yeah, that's op just swapping transfer yeah. options so, yep yeah. and transfer yeah and it then should show you the list of all your modules you've got the prospect olympic there. controller uh no you don't want that one um you may have a five it may be a five a um a five e collector so go back on there I can't remember what size your Olympic controller was. It may have been a five. So go up to the five one. And yeah, try to transfer on there. Yeah, I'm there saying... you go, collector. Collect oh. Olympic controller. Yeah, so you want your collect Olympic controller. And a good idea to put your fuel scoop back in as well. Which is a what? A th as, a, as a free. 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 Fuel scoop. Right, okay, done that. Right, so now, um, if you go to Galaxy Map... I want to go buy some... Um, oh, yeah, buy, buy some limpets. My f and, about. Uh, limpets, what is it? Out shipyard? Um, advanced Maintenance. Restock? Um, uh, yeah, restock. And how many limpets? About half of what your capacity is. So that's eighty. 40, actually, yeah, twenty. Twenty will do. All right. Okay. Do I need to set up my fire groups? Like it said, I need to set up my fire groups. 
Yeah, so um, program your Olympic controller into the fire groups again. You may want to have it on fire group two. So, is that B? Uh, yeah. So, yeah, just, um, I'd have your weapons and your... Yeah, I'd just, just put it on, on, on there somewhere. So... I normally have Olympics on uh, as mouse, mouse button two. So is that so, two? Uh, yeah. So that that one, yeah, make that two, yeah, and that should be okay. Okay. And go to Galaxy Map. Yeah. What am I searching for? Right. So go to the Star View one. The, yeah. The fourth tab across the top. Yeah. Yeah. Um, go to map. Yeah. Uh, and then choose um, state. Where's... Yeah. It's at the top, just where it says visited stars at the moment. Change that to state. Right. Yeah. Right, so the states you want are... So um, get rid of... Just yeah, tell me um, which one I want. Yeah, deselect all of them. The ones you want are boom. Hang on, hang um, on. So the ones I want are boom. Yeah. Um, expansion. Uh, boom expansion. Outbreak. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that'll do for now. Now if you scroll down a bit. You'll see um, it says, uh, it should say, uh, it says show by yeah, size. Cl cl close the trade routes. Yeah, so, so it's that show by size one. Yeah. Yeah, so click population. on the show by size. Population. Yeah, change the population. Yeah. Change that to move that the top slider up to about 90%. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, about about there, yeah. That should. Uh, I'll go down one one notch actually. Yeah. Right. So now um, these are the the high populated systems that um, the one. If you zoom out on your map, you'll be able to see a few systems highlighted. I can't see any at that apart from Sol. Yeah. So um, yeah, just go to one of the blue dots. That will be a boom system. Yeah. Uh, and when you get there, um, go to the nav beacon, which is the closest object to the sun. Okay, so uh, let me just go there then. So guys, where, where, what is this game? Where do you get this game from? What's it called? Cuphead. Is it a free game? Where do you get it from? I'll, I'll have a look at it. Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, I can't. At the moment, I can't play that. Oh, Steam. Alright, okay. Cuphead. Is it one we could play as a community game, or is it literally uh, an indiv individual? Single or local multiplayer. Okay. Yeah, they're the ones I kind of can do. Right, I'm going to have to have a look. If you just uh, remind me in... You have exceeded... Uh, Never wants to play it again. Ready to engage. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> right, you've got me intrigued now, guys. Right, well, I'm going to the first nav beacon, you said, Greg. Yep. So, um, remember when we were doing exploration, we were scanning the whole system. Um, uh, hang on a minute, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I'm getting frustrated. Went straight by it, trying to listen. <laughs> so yeah, go f I'm uh, going to the nav beacon. Yep. So when you get there, just select it. Um, so um, power down when you get when you drop out. Um, select the nav beacon and scan it. You don't need to actually do anything. You just need to select it and point at it, and it will scan automatically. Um, and that will give you the information of everything that's in the system. Um, planets and all, all the other sources as well. Right, I'm a killer me. I'm a so it's the white, it's the white dot you want to select. Uh, oh God, I've come straight by it. <coughs> right, 300 meters to the nav beacon. Yeah, so just just point at it. No, no, not it's the white dot, not the, not the, not the compass. So the white dot in the screen, you're, you're flying past again. Yeah, I see it. This target thing here. Yeah. For some reason, they're not in the same location precisely, but yeah, you just select that. Yeah. Now what? It should scan automatically. Yeah, it's scanning. No, I'm doing that manually. Oh. Right. So that, um, when it's scanned, it? uh, not yet, uh, you get a message up saying scan complete, yeah. So now just um, jump into frame shift drive again. So um, speed up and press K. Oh god, why is it deploying hard points? Yeah, I'll have a look into it, B, Sith, see if it's uh, something we can play. Right, now what I'm doing, Greg. Yeah, you're in, actually you're in frame shift now. You're just yeah. going slow, which is good. Um, right, so now look at your um, nav panel, so press 1. Um, and, and look for what? All right, we're looking for high grade emissions. So if you um, you might want to hide the fleet, car fleet carriers because they could get in the way into a lot of them. How do I know what a high grade whatever it is? All right, so um, you see the weapons fire there. That that is one of the that's one of, you've got a uh, dis um, degraded emissions there. Yeah. So it will look same logo as that, except it's say high grade emissions. So yeah, just scroll down, and normally towards just just above the planets. Um, no, it looks like there probably aren't any in the system. Um, yeah. So yeah, you're, you're in you're in the systems now. So yeah, is there isn't one there. So you might want to go for a um, a degraded one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, All right, I'll go there and... Yeah, right, so now you can see it says faction and state. Um, so the faction um, tells you who this emission belongs to. Yeah. Uh, um, and again, if it had a state, I think that would be in there. It's also got the time. Well, no, the state tells you what state the emission is. So um, this is an, a, um, a faction with no state. So um, normally what you're after is boom, but again, we're just doing this one just to try it out. So what do so I need to do? You need to drop out when you get there, so treat it like a space station and um, seven second rule. Um, 
Uh, you're not actually pointing at the one you've got selected. I am. Am I not? Um, I'm not sure. But if you, if you look at the compass, the compass isn't. Well, it's behind so me then. You... It's up. I think it's directly above you. So I've got it. I've got it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, seven second rule. Um, drop out when you get there. Um, now. Um, the threat level is zero, which means you're not going to get attacked when you get there. Some of them have a high threat. And there will be some things there to scan or pick up, or possibly both. All right, let's get there and um, see what we, what we did. Wow. <laughs> Oh god, I'm not watching it again! <sighs> so where... it's gone, where is it? You can only see it when you're in super cruise. Okay. Pulling down. Graded emissions. Right, so that's behind me then. Seven second rule. Slow right down. <laughs> I know, I thought you might uh, like that beat. Well, if you insist. <laughs> you wanted another one. <laughs> oh dear. I'm going to have to have a whole stream deck panel just for these things that I can press. Now you can have 15 on a. 15 at the moment I've got five Alright, okay, so now what the hell am I doing? Yeah, just deploy your limpet. Um, so just one one will probably do it and it will pick up whatever you've Collect got Collect a limpet, yeah? Yep. And if you press 1 and go to contacts, you'll be able to see what's there to pick up. Scrap, chemical processor, alright, okay. Yeah, so you, you may get a personal nav beacon which you can scan and get data from. Now, if, you, if you'd found a high grade emission, um, yes, you want that to might help. Get you. Yeah, if you'd found a high grade emission, you'd be get, getting just high grade um, materials. 
And then okay. they can be traded for the lower grade ones that you need to upgrade your frame shift drive. But you, you may pick pick them up here. But um, again, these are probably yeah, what one shield emitters are pretty low um, level ones. But you can go back to wherever and uh, and flog this. Um, you can't flog it. You can trade it for other ones. So that's why you want the high grade ones because. Uh, remember when we traded the um, high-grade stuff that we picked up um, for uh, raw materials yeah. for the sulfur? Um, you get you get more for grading, um, trading the high-grade ones than you do for the low-grade ones. Right, so this is last one, and then it's uh, go find another one, is it? Yeah, so you just, um, pick another system, because you looked at the whole of this system, so... Just pick another blue dot well, there was from the galaxy map and there was a few of go these. there. You need to go to galaxy map too. Yeah, I know. I was looking at... Uh... So has it got to be blue? Um, it doesn't have to be blue. But um, again, we've turned off all the smaller systems. So we've only got high population systems. They they will have more, um, they will have more emissions in them than the, the unpopulated ones. Once you've found sort of two or three systems that um, are consistently good, then you can uh, just go around them in circle. If you're doing a lot of this, right? Okay. Um, they they refresh after about half an hour. Uh, Cargo scoop deployed. I thought it would. Cargo scoop retracted. Cannot comply. Frameship That's better. Charging. Do you know what? Every time, every few seconds, B, I'm, I'm just gonna play it. No, so no matter what you're doing, you're just gonna laugh your head off. No matter where you are. Are you at work, by the way? Or what time is it? No, so if I go on look at the navigation map, should this find unident? No, there's nothing in this one. Have you scanned the nav beacon? Uh, right, okay, get it. No. Wow, it's right in that. Always good to laugh, B. Always good to laugh. So, what? When I'm scanning this nav beacon, am I? Am I? Is I honking? Scanning. Um. No, it's like um, after you've honked, you know, you go to the um, uh, what's it called? Let me just press the button. See what it's called. Um. Uh, FSS full system yeah, scan yeah. mode. Um, it's like doing a full system in one go. Um, so nice. you're not going to get any exploration data from doing it because, again, the data is already known by the system, but it, it just saves you a lot of time scanning the, the entire system. So it's a white dot again you want to look at. So the white dot. Yeah, it sort of went by it. 
Oh, God. Right, so that nav beacon's literally... It's below you at the moment. Yeah, ignore the compass, the white dot on the radar is what you're after. Right, okay. Scan complete, system data downloaded. Yeah, so now back into frame shift drive so you can see the data. Cannot comply. You can only see the data in frame shift drive. Why does it keep... Alright, no, that's better. So you're in your living room laughing away, so I won't cause any trouble by doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, looks like you like it as well. <laughs> I was laughing at the crash into the nav beacon. The number of times I've crashed into nav beacons. I didn't even realise I've crashed into the nav beacon. Right, so I should be able to see these, whatever they are, encoded emission. So I should be able to find that. Yeah, so encoded ones, are you likely to get data from those? Alright, so let's go and have a look then. Threat zero. Marine Forces Special Operations Command states boom. Is that good? Um, yep, yeah, boom is good. Um, and boom, you're no, likely I'm to get. I'm slowing down. I'm slowing. Do you know what? I did not do. I did the seven second rule. And I've just gone straight yeah. by it. Yeah, I think that the seven second rule is like an instant thing because you're using a keyboard. It takes time to throttle down. It's just stupid, this game, sometimes. <laughs> oh. when, you get, when, when you've got a throttling, you can in, throttle down instantly. Um, well, you, you can, you can uh, map keys on your keyboard to speeds. That's what my brother used to do. He used to have the number pads as um, keys as speed. Yeah, that would be great if I had a number pad on my keyboard. <laughs> I've got a short keyboard. What time is it? Right, 10 more minutes and then I'm going to have to uh, shoot. And I'm going to come back tomorrow. Do this yeah, so tomorrow. What, you, what you're likely to get here, here are um, proto heat radiators or proto radiolic, proto -radiolic alloys and proto light alloys. Um, Find out in a second. So, uh, collect uh, and send send them out. Okay. Oh, um, don't select them before you send it out. If you select them, it will only pick the one you've selected. If you deselect everything and just send one more out, it will pick pick all of them up. How to deselect it then? Um, just just point at a spa area of space with none of them in it and just hit the select button. Right. Okay. So that was a waste right. of uh, a limpet then. Yeah. Well, he got you one, but oh, just a minute. It's. All right, I okay. think they might be a little bit far away. You may have to fly a bit closer to them. Can you remember what great what level of em emissions it was? No. Yeah. Um, okay. You don't normally get focus crystals at the high grade ones. So, oh no, it was a um, it was an encoded one, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Oh. Yeah, so um, have a look at your contacts. There may be a personal nav beacon somewhere to scan. Uh, where? Oh, per Sorry, um, what I'm looking for? Um, it would be under contacts, it'd be personal nav beacon, but there wasn't one. Right, okay. Okay, and th these are mid grade um, materials. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if, if you're not that good at combat and you can't shoot the ships to get these, this is this is how you get them. Okay, makes sense. A lot easier. Um, again, Ooh, some, some of, them, some of the rarer ones you can also get for mission rewards. I spent about a day doing this last weekend um, just to stock up on all the things I've been using. All right, okay. So that should be all of them collected then. Yeah. Well, well that. So again, if if there are more in this system, you can just. Just um, jump back into hyperspace and search for them. If there aren't, then you can jump to the next system. Yes, I get it. But I think what I'm going to do is... It's because B and Sith, I'm a complete idiot. You should be able to hear me now. Can you confirm that you can hear me? Yeah, I've been playing around with all OBS stuff. So this is my chat screen and I'd forgot to add the mic onto it. <sighs> Do you know, I've been playing around with everything like in a in a second i've literally got a one key to run an animation go over to my um ending go to my ending screen and then stop the stream so but i just thought i'd come on to it <coughs> you can still see my game stream deck so i'll be playing it tonight it's it's i don't know what it is on yours sith but it's about two two pound about two or three pound a month to use it and i'll just basically i don't know if you can uh yeah 
you're not going to be able to see it because of my uh, thing, but on my phone, there's the 15 different... Well, you'll, you'll, you'll see it, to be honest. Those things I have, Sith, are dead easy. Dead easy. What you need to do is go on to YouTube and search for green screen videos. And then, um, because I'll, I'll show you. What I'm going to do is... Let me turn off the filter for this one. So basically what you get <laughs> is this. Yeah, you get a video that's him laughing with a green screen background. And then what you do is you put it into OBS as a, as a, a media source. And then you can add a filter, and one of the filters is chroma key. And you set the chroma key to green. And then when you play it back, it removes the green from it. No, you download it to a computer. If you find one on YouTube that you like, um... Let me just paste the link uh, YouTube to MP3. Uh, MP4. I uh, can't remember. There's basically... Basically what you do is you find the green screen that you want. You go to a YouTube downloader, so it downloads the video to an MP4 or an MP3. Then you add it to OBS as a media source. And with Stream Deck, what you do is you set up a button to enable the video, enable the media source, and that will show it. You then put a delay on the length of the media source and then you add another option. It's like a, a multi multi event button. So it shows the video, delays it the length of the video and then turns it off. So at the moment, my laughing video is a hidden media source. When I unhide it, that plays it. And then when it's finished, you hide it. Now the button, it will... So on the Stream Deck button, I'm pressing it. So it showed it. It's running a delay. And then at the end of the video, it's hiding it. So... When I go to press it again, it will show it, delay for the length of the video, and then hide it again. So when it's hidden, it's not shown. When it's visible, it's shown. So you need to sort of start hidden, then show, delay, hide again. And when I play it, B wets herself laughing. Yes. Yes, I could um, I could do this. So what I do is um, uh, so I'm going to uh, be what's herself. So this is just me playing, so I can show you. So let's let's turn the uh, Let's turn that down. So, and then I hide it. Okay. So now I go into my Stream Deck software. Go to my laugh, and it's an action. So I want to a source. Add a new source. So I want to go, uh, what is it? So 
Twitch points laughing. Right, so sit. So I want to go to my live screen. My, uh, is, oh, sorry. No, I don't. I want to go to my, I want to go to my chatting screen. I want to be wet to self activate. Then at the end of it, I want to go chatting, be wet to self deactivate. So in theory, what this should do is put the text just below the Twitch logo, play the laugh, and then when the thing finishes, it makes it disappear. So let's go for it. <laughs> then when he disappears, so should be wets herself. There you go, look. So now every time I play that video, It will show the bee wets herself and then disappears when <laughs> when it disappears you know so when i when i go back to this when i go back to this screen you know it depends on the placement so it's not gonna it's not gonna do it on this one because i've only activated it on the chat screen so basically you have to pick the scene where you want it to do it yeah so now if i go back to chat where i've done it and run it again there we go look it now says be wet herself so it's all done on scene and what you want to show and what you want to uh deactivate hope that makes it a little more clearer just ask me in discord if you get stuck but the application you configure you need to put that everywhere. I'd have to, uh, yeah, well, that is something for me to um, play and uh, get it on each, on each, <laughs> on each chat thing. That'd be a really cool idea. Oh, don't kid. No, that'd be really funny. Yeah, B can take it. She's got a good sense of humour. But on that note, guys, <laughs> oh, that's gonna, oh dear, oh my god, do you know, do you know what, I'm gonna have to see if I can get some kind of rainfall effect, so that uh, when I play it, it says be wet yourself, and then I get some kind of pitter patter raindrops. Oh, that would be absolutely awesome. Oh, that's so funny. I love that. Oh, you've got, you've given me something to play. Oh, and if you're in chat and watching this and have no idea what we're on about, don't worry about it. Ooh. So I could have the bee wets herself and then. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I'm having to have more profiles on my stream deck because what you've got is you've got 15 buttons. You've got 15 buttons, but then a lot of different layers. So you could have 15 for profile one, then 15 for profile two. Uh, profile three and each one you can have 15 so you can have 30 60 buttons i'm just gonna end up having a whole profile for b you guys are crazy but it's all fun i hope you've enjoyed it uh but just for one last time <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god oh no i'm gonna have to uh sorry guys
Uh, right, so basically I've changed it. So uh, I don't know if this is going to go behind the thing, but I've changed it. <laughs> Be, yeah, I'm spell my name, but you get you get the you get the bloody uh, you get the point. Be wets. Uh, I'm going to leave it as B wets herself, then put it back here. So at least on the Twitch chat, it'll always, uh, will always be wet herself. <laughs> oh. Right, guys. So I'm now going to try another thing that I've programmed, which will display an animation. It will um, change to my offline screen and then we'll automatically cut the stream so really appreciate you guys for coming along thanks for having a laugh for cheering me up and i'll be back tomorrow and who knows what i will have in store for you tomorrow you're gonna have to come back and watch so thanks guys really appreciate it talk to you soon and let's see if this works <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it!